Daniel from tablet.e and let's make a benchmark comparison between the Sony Xperia V and the Sony Xperia T. Um, here are the both devices and I've got an Tutu benchmark and I think I'll just start it and we'll see who's be first. So. Let's see, so we've got uh, both have a 720p display, very beautiful, um, 4.6 inch on the Xperia T on the right and um, 4.3 inch on the Xperia V on the left. Both have the same size, as you can see they are not very different and both run Android 4.0 on a Qualcomm S4 I think. So we say it's a 1.5 GHz dual core processor, but I think it's just VS4, which is also in the HTC One XL, and this is one of the fastest mobile processors at the moment. Um, both have a 13 megapixel camera um, with HDR and autofocus, so they are both pretty beautiful, as you can see here. The T is on the right. The um, V is on the left, and here's the benchmark. So I think both perform pretty good, if not awesome. Let's see. So here you can see the display difference. 4.3 inch is quite a... Yeah, I think you can see the difference that 4.3 inch is significantly smaller than 4.7, although the size of the devices is nearly the same got 4G LTE here on the left with the Xperia V and it is also waterproof so you can just um, throw it into a pond or um, go yeah, swimming with it or take a shower and call your wife. Well, maybe not that. Um, yeah, so I think it looks pretty decent and I think it looks pretty much the same. But nevertheless, I wanted to make a benchmark just to show you the power of the Qualcomm S4 processor. So we get nearly 60 frames per second, which is very, very decent. So I started with T just a second earlier, so never mind the speed difference. By the way, Sony has got plenty of devices right here, so as you can see, um, media is all over it, and we've got the Xperia T, Xperia V, Xperia I, and Xperia U, Xperia TX. Um, I mean, they are like, all of them are here. This is like, a huge announcement by Sony. So, the T is done, the V is done as well, and we get, well, that's not much of a difference. So we got 8,200 points on the Sony Xperia T and um, 7,000, well, nearly 8,000 points on the Xperia V. Um, the difference, the most difference is in I.O. and a bit in the CPU, so that's not really a difference, but you can see if we just go here and submit it, you can compare the devices and look at the ranking, because I think these devices are pretty much some of the fastest at the moment. So let's have a look. So, let's show the bar chart. So this is the Galaxy S3, Transformer Prime, and we are above the VT, we are above the Galaxy Note with, yeah. So I think the Transformer Prime has got some 10,000 points, Galaxy S3 has got some more points, like 12,000. But still, it's pretty decent. So, um, 
show it right there. Press it, upload the score. Yeah, never mind. So, um, this will be just shortly below the Xperia T with just 7,900 something points. So, the power difference, you, will, you won't you notice the difference in, in power and performance. So, yeah, this is the comparison between the Xperia, Xperia T and the Xperia V at the Sony event at IFA 2012. I'm Daniel from tablet.e. Thanks for watching.